So when your client has filled in the Decision Vault questionnaire, um, you get a notification. You can look at what they uh, provided to you uh, by running this full matter export. So this generates a Word document that has all the answers the client has given so far on the questionnaire. Um, it's in Word because that way we can nicely keep it condensed. Like this is uh, five pages. Um, so it's a lot better than with some of these online form builder tools you like try to export it and then you get a 17 page PDF that's fully baked and you cannot do anything with. Um, so instead here we have the Microsoft Word. Um, you see here there's the info on the clients, there's the info on uh, the, the marriage, the children, advisors, etc. Um, rolls down to a contact table at the end. So this has all the information um, that's been captured so far on the questionnaire except for the assets, because the assets come out as that Excel spreadsheet. You can see that in the, uh, the assets sheet um, video. But then when you have this information, you wanna go into a meeting with the client. And like this export is not really useful to go run a meeting with a client with. There's no space really for you to add notes. And also you probably will want to build up um, what we've seen uh, several attorneys do, build up a design sheet. It's like a, a meeting template where you have your own set of drafting choices that you can make along the way. So to make that a little easier, um, we have design sheet functionality. So um, you can build up as part of the um, setup of your questionnaire, there's the actual questionnaire and the sections of that. Um, and then separately, there's a design sheet. And here you can build this up and it's the, uh, this is an attorney only view um, where you can pull questions over from the questionnaire and show them. Um, you can put in like the clients, a list of the children. Um, you can put in these blocks where you can assign people into roles. So all together, that makes it that you digitize how you run the data gathering in the client meeting, um, directly folding in the information the client has already provided to you. So let me show you what that looks like uh, when you run that for a matter. So I can either, I have two choices, I can either uh, run this on the screen. Um, so if I'm doing a virtual meeting, I could have this open and then go through this with the client. Um, and this is an example, obviously. Um, so here I have an overview. I can see who my clients are. I could edit the information here as well. Um, I uh, can see the questions here with the blue bar have been pulled over from the questionnaire and embedded here. So I can see that they have not lived in a community state. They don't have a prenup. Um, so as we get into talking to the clients, um, I can kind of go over this, they have children. Okay, and then we can start making choices. So uh, if this is a married couple, let's have uh, a joint trust. We can set a name of the trust. Um, we can set a, a signing date. Um, and um, like we can start to assign people into roles. So the two clients are going to be the trustee together first. And then the successor trustee is going to be the brother. And then I don't know, stepped out. I don't have enough context here, but you get the idea. Um, rolling down into guardians. Um, there's these questions on the questionnaire where uh, the client can indicate who might help like a short-term guardian or a long-term guardian. Um, so I can use that, um, but the client is not really sorting those people into those roles. They kind of like put them in a group like this. So you can have the conversation with the client and then um, select what the actual list of short-term guardians is going to be, or the actual list of long-term guardians, etc. So, um, what this, as you can see, this now um, start, it, it can be used to just drive your meeting and make sure that you ask your clients the questions that you need to ask them, um, and then also capture those in such a structured way um, that whether you are doing the drafting or or you um, uh, you have a drafting paralegal or you have an outsourced drafting uh, company that like out of the meeting, at the end of the meeting, you pretty much have the drafting instructions ready. Um, like you can see here, this, this rolls down into that of first spouse, that of second spouse, um, right? So there's a whole bunch of different form builder elements available um, to do stuff like this, where you can say this child can become a co-trustee at age 25, a sole trustee at age 35, etc. Let me roll down um, to the end. Um, when you do this on the screen, uh, the nice thing is that we have these headers so you can kind of jump around quickly to a different section. Um, so that's how we can capture the information. Um, 
afterwards, I can export that to this filled uh, design sheet. So this is um, what I could give to the drafting paralegal. I have the, the type of trust. I have the name of the trust. I have the trustee, the successor trustee. All these people are captured here, right? Um, now, you might not be wanting to do this or it doesn't fit your process to do this virtually. Um, you might want to do it in person. That's fine too. So you could export the design sheet um, as an empty page, uh, which generates this Word document that you could either print and then fill in on paper, um, or you could put this on an iPad and like have it like on your iPad and draw and draw on your iPad in the meeting. Um, so here we again see uh, that it has filled it in the names of the client, this date of the, the marital status. These extra questions have been answered already, um, but then I can see here that. My trust design, I have to make a choice. The name of the trust and signing date, I can fill in. Uh, for the trustee, I, I have all the names of the contacts on the questionnaire, so you can write one, two, three. Um, uh, and this rolls further down. So death of second spouse, co-trustee, the same questions we saw earlier. Um, so that's how you can uh, integrate your design sheet and fill it with information from the client questionnaire to further streamline um, the data handling in your practice.